guys welcome back to the channel in today's video I'm going to do a really quick unboxing of this unit this video is not sponsored I purchased this wig with my own money and I want you guys to know that my authenticity is not negotiable so whatever experience I share with you guys on this channel it is my own unique experience I just want you guys to know that it is not my intention to persuade you to buy a product my intention in sharing this information with you guys is just to again share with you my experience with different products um, sharing with you guys how I use certain products. If it's something that you're interested in purchasing for yourself, that is awesome. I hope that you will, you know, tag me in, in a photo of you using it or trying a certain style or whatever, you know, the situation may be. But I just want to let you guys know that, you know, this is just about us creating community and um, us sharing with one and another. Yeah, I had to get that out of the way. Okay, so this is the wig right out of the box. As you can see, this is the Roll Breaker wig. It's by Sensational, and I have the color um, F1B30. It has beautiful highlights in it, um, and I'm so excited to share this with you. So one of the reasons I wanted to show you the back of this card was so you could see all of the colors that are available. I think this is F99 on the end, and then you have a variety of different colors that are beautifully highlit colors. And then you have these others that have the, like the darker root. So it starts out with like color 27 with dark roots, then you go to 30, and then you get this beautiful red color on the end. So this wig has lots of different options when it comes to colors and then um, also options in terms of the different ways you could wear it. Okay, so this is the wig straight out of the package. And um, as you can see, it has these beautiful, beautiful highlights in it. This is the first time I've actually seen this with a lace front wig where it has, you know, kind of a, um, a cushion around the lace front piece to keep it from getting damaged, I guess, as you remove it, you know, from the, um, from the box. So this is how it looks straight out of the box. The curls on the wig are very, very soft. It feels very similar to natural hair. So um, I'm very pleased with that. And it looks very natural as well. I'm not sure how I'm feeling about these highlights. They look, I don't know. <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> so this is um, the wig up close. I wanted to show you guys the parting space. It's actually um, done really nicely. So I don't know if I'm going to have to do a whole lot to this. I may remove a few of these hairs, but I don't think I'll have to remove very many. As you can see, it does have the baby hairs already made into the wig. For those of you who like to use the baby hairs to, um, you know, actually hide the ed of, uh, edge of the lace front. And then also, as you can see, um, this lace is pretty close to my own complexion, so I don't think I'll have to do very much in order to uh, make it look realistic, you know, up against my skin. But I wanted to show this to you guys so that if you are lighter than I am or you are darker than I am, at least you'd have like some frame of reference in terms of how much work uh, you might have to do to uh, the lace itself. It's also pretty soft. Um, and it is not a very stiff lace, so I think this is going to be pretty easy to work with. I'm going to show you the inside of the cap. The inside has two combs up front. Um, of course, the lace where that part is. In the back, it has one comb in the back and then the adjustable straps. So, let's get started. Okay guys, <laughs> I'm working with a new camera and new equipment, so I lost some footage. Um, and I just wanted you to know what I had done up until this point. As you can see, I made two raggedy tail flat twists and I parted my hair where I wanted the part on the wig to appear so it has a more natural look. And I pulled out sections along the parameter that I'm going to blend into the hair of the wig. So I've put the wig on and I've pulled out the hair around my parameter and now I'm just going to clean up the part just a little bit before I um, anchor the wig and make sure I've placed it where I wanted it. 
Right. All right, and um, now that I have the wig where I want it, I'm just gonna kind of go in and make sure that the combs in the, the unit are also kind of secured. I like to make sure I have my wig where I want it before I do that. Okay, all right. So I'm happy with that. So this is a lot of hair. Um, I think if you're not used to wearing a unit with a lot of hair, um, you know, I say like wear it around the house, wear it out, you know, like to do errands and stuff like that, and you'll feel more comfortable in it. At least that's what worked for me. So I'm gonna go in with um, just a toothbrush to kind of lay some of the baby hairs down and help it to blend with my hair a little more seamlessly. So most of you guys know that I am new to wearing wigs as protective styles, um, and I'm still learning. I am not a professional by any means, you know. So if you guys have any tips on laying baby hairs with lace fronts, please do leave them in the comment section below so we can all learn from one another. I like to just take like all my hair and just make sure that I'm just blending it into the front of that lace area. So again, like if the wind blows, you won't be revealed or found out. The jig won't be up. Yeah, see how that looks a little more realistic there? So even if I want to kind of pin my hair off my face a little bit, the overall look will be more realistic. Okay, so now I'm going to take a pencil brush. It's a type of makeup brush. And I'm going to dip it in black. Well, I already dipped it <laughs> in black eyeshadow. And I'm just going to run that over the edge of the lace. And I like to do this just to make the lace match the color of the uh, roots of the hair I'm wearing. I find this is a really quick and easy technique to hide the, or camouflage as much as possible, the appearance of the lace, especially when you're not wearing it sort of glued, you know, to your forehead. Um, I don't particularly like to use that method because I like my edges. All right, so now I'm just going in to clean up the part so that it looks more natural and it blends in with my complexion better. Okay, so all that's left to do now is just style the wig. I didn't cut this wig. I think this is one of the first curly hair units I didn't have to cut. It was just ready to style. All right, <laughs> so that is pretty much it. Wow, okay, so first impressions of this unit, if you couldn't tell already, I absolutely love it. I think this is um, a great wig, especially for uh, women who like really curly hair, textured wigs, um, big hair, easy to put on wigs that you know you could literally take out the box, put on, and then you know rock. Um, also for, you know, newbies who I still consider myself a newbies when it comes to wearing, uh, wigs. Um, so if you want a lace front wig that you don't have to, uh, put a lot of effort to in terms of making it look realistic, this is definitely for you. All right. So one of the things that I really do like about this wig is that you don't have to do a lot of manipulation of the hair in order to get the curls to look you know, natural or, you know, like unclumped, you know, sometimes, especially like with the Otre, um, big, beautiful hair wigs. I love that wig, by the way. But one of the things that you do have to do with that wig is you do have to fluff it out, loosen up those curls, um, you know, and do a lot of styling to it. 
well not a lot but you have to do some styling and cutting to it in my opinion um, I will put a link to the tutorial I created up here for those of you who are interested in checking out that wig it's one of my favorite like literally one of my top three wigs of all time um, but if you're not comfortable doing that level of cutting you know to the hair or manipulation to the hair I feel like this is a really good wig because you don't have to loosen up these curls and actually I would not recommend finger combing or picking the hair um, unless you want really really big hair because this hair is already big and I think that if you manipulate it too much the hair will frizz up on you. I wasn't sure I was going to highlight or I was going to like the highlights but I actually really do like them. So there are little brighter um, than they are in real life on camera and it's probably because I have the lights and all of that so they aren't quite this bright. Um, in real life. Uh, it's a little bit more muted. Very, very beautiful. They're actually really beautifully placed in the wig. Sometimes when wig makers, um, you know, create highlighted pieces, they make it too chunky, like all in one place, and they don't really look natural. I feel like looking at this in my mirror it comes off really natural and um, as a really really beautiful unit I think this is a unit you could wear every day or you could wear for a special occasion so yeah I really really like this unit I think that it is going to be a great fall wig and it's definitely something that I'm going to be rocking this fall so I hope you guys um oh let me give you guys the information on the wig Ciao. So this hair is considered to be 3C 4A coily. They do also have um, 3B to 4C curly and they have um, 4B to 4C kinky in this style. So a wide gamut of curls to choose from especially if you want to match it up to your own curl pattern. Um, if you wanted to wash this wig you could do so just in lukewarm water with a little bit of shampoo if you were going to do that. I would probably not use shampoo. I would probably use conditioner just to manage these curls um, a little bit better. I probably will not wash this unit um, to be perfectly honest. I feel like it's a synthetic unit and I don't usually wash my synthetic units um, so but if you would like to do so you certainly could um, and also just a reminder when it comes to protective styling you know always be sure to take care of your own natural hair beneath the wig. So I guess that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, review. If you decide to buy this unit I hope that you will let me know. Tag me in a picture. Go over to my Facebook page. Send it to me. I would love to see your take on this beautiful wig. Thank you guys for watching as always and I will see you next time. Bye. Okay so one of the things so one of the things I liked about this unit, I'm sorry y'all, my scalp is really itching <laughs> under here. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so unprofessional.